Hello, this is Mr. Hansen. We're looking at uh, uh, the next chapter after an introduction to functions. This is a chapter on sequences. So, what is a sequence? A sequence is an ordered list of numbers or objects forming a pattern. Uh, let's take a look at this uh, first sequence here. I've got 5, 11, 17, 23. And if I gave you a second, you could probably figure out the next uh, next three um, terms in that sequence. So take a second and think about that. Hopefully you got the same thing I got, 29, 35, and uh, 41. And then it's important to kind of look back and think about how did we get that? How did we recognize this pattern? And you may have said, well, going from 5 to 11, looks like we're adding 6. Going from 11 to 17, we're adding 6 again. And then we add 6 again, so we probably do the same thing there, there, and there. And if you said that, you're, you're absolutely right. We're just adding 6 to the, uh, the, the um, one term to get the next term. So this is called an arithmetic sequence because it is, a, it, it's a just repeated adding of the same, same number. Um, let's talk about a, a few vocabulary words here. Common difference. Okay, common difference is, is found in this kind of a sequence. It's an arithmetic sequence. And the common dis difference here is six. So one way to find that is uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna label these terms so we kind of know what order they go in. This is a sub one, a sub two, a sub three, a sub four, fourth term, a sub five, fifth term, a sub six, sixth term, a sub seven, seventh term, and so on. So that tells you uh, what order the terms take in the sequence. So if I said 23, you'd know that that's the fourth term. So to find the common difference in an arithmetic sequence, all you have to do is you take a sub 4 minus a sub 3. That's 23 minus 17. Then you take a sub 3 minus a sub 2. That's 17 minus 11, and a sub 2 minus a sub 1, that's 11 minus 5. And each time we get a 6, 6, 6. So to find the common difference, we're just subtracting one term from the term, or we're subtracting uh, the term before it from the next term. So a sub 4 minus a sub 3, fourth term minus the third term. Uh, third term minus the second term, second term minus the first term. And if we get the same number every time, we know it's an arithmetic sequence, and that number happens to be the common difference. So let's take a look at this. Um, let's try one for practice. Okay, here we go, negative 3, 9, 21, 33. Find the common difference and then determine the next three terms. So you might remember this is a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, fourth term, third term, second term, first term. So a sub 4 minus a sub 3, that gives us 33 minus 21 a sub 3 minus a sub 2, that gives us 21 minus 9, and a sub 2 minus a sub 1, that gives us 9 minus negative 3. Let's add, let's subtract these and see what we get. We should get 12 every time. So the common difference here is, is 12. And that helps us, once we know that's 12, what are we going to do here to get to there? We're just going to add 12. So we add 12 to 33, 
and we get 45. We add 12 to 45, we get 57. We add 12 to 57, we get 69. You could go on and on like that forever, okay? So that is uh, pretty much uh, what you need to know about arithmetic uh, uh, sequences. Um, here's a question for you. Arithmetic sequences, are they functions? Well, if you think of the uh, order of your term, let's just kind of go like this. If you think of the order, we've got the first term. Well, let's put it right here. The first term is negative 3. Second term is uh, 9. Third term is 21. Uh, the fourth term is 33. Is this starting to look like a function to you? I, I would think that it is. And let's, let's put one more thing in here. What about the zeroth term? Could you come up with a term before the first term? The zeroth term, maybe instead of adding 12, you'd subtract 12, so you get negative 15. And there you have a, a, a table of values. And it probably, it, well, let's, let's see. Uh, if you were to graph that, you're just adding 12 each time. Um, so let's see, the, the slope is 12. The y-intercept is 15, and here you have here you have an equation right there. Let's let's just see if if, if this works. Um, so let's plug in the second term right there. Let's plug in two. 12 times two is 24, and 24 minus 15 is nine. So it does work. It's a, an arithmetic sequence is indeed a function, which brings us to to a question about functions. What what are functions really? All they are is, is patterns, and uh, we're able to identify that uh, arithmetic sequences uh, uh, form a, a pattern that would make a, a linear function. Uh, so just a quick review here. You need to know how to find common difference. You need to know how to extend a sequence using the common difference Do the next few terms. And you need to understand that a uh, arithmetic sequence is indeed a linear uh, function. Um, so that's it for this uh, this section. Thank you.